appreciate that. Uh, Devin, appreciate you coming on. Just had two things real quick. First, uh, between the fouls and the concentrated defense you were facing tonight in the second of a back-to-back, -back, how tough of a night was this for you tonight? Um, I mean, it's, it's just part of the game. Um, it's going to be tough nights. It's going to be good nights. Um, just trying to stay consistent. Quick follow on the offensive fouls. Was that more of you feeling like you were not in a rush, but trying to do something, or was that? I mean, how would you assess those 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 plays where you know you may pick up an offensive foul in the game? I've seen it, but to have like I think was it four tonight, three or four? What, what was going on with that? Do you feel? Um, just no respect. Final two questions are going to be Kellen Olson and Gina Mizell. Hey, Book, uh, you've had stretches like this in your career before and been able to bounce back from them. What has been the key for you in the past to taking a couple games like this and flushing them and moving on? Just knowing, you know, who I am and what I've been doing for a really long time. All right, Book, final question is Gina Mizell. Hey, Book, you guys now have two days off before the the back-to-back -back in, in New York and in Brooklyn. It's the last time you guys have two days off in between games the entire season, just what do you feel like are the keys to sort of resting, recovering, you know, get, and, and getting ready for that back-to-back? -back? No, just things that you said, um, just taking this time and util utilizing it properly. Thanks for the time, Buck.